Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for holding today's hearing. Thank you to each of the witnesses. A lot has been said here today that I agree with. Uh, I do just want to mention, uh, you know, number one, there's no equivalency between what Hamas did, the horrific attacks, and Israel defending itself. And I think it's important that's said. And I think the article that uh, Mr. Wentworth found uh, highlights that years ago, the Palestinians could have chosen peace and prosperity and coexisting with Israel and have chosen instead violence and destruction for many, many years. And so we stand with Israel and Israel's right uh, to defend uh, itself. Uh, and, you know, we had a hearing on this uh, yesterday in another um, in another committee, and it's just, uh, it's still unbelievable to me that we're seeing what we're seeing on our college campuses. There was a student from Princeton who said essentially the Jewish students have retreated to the Jewish centers because they don't feel that they can participate in, in um, campus life. And it's just, it's sad to see, um, you know, we've seen Jewish students violently attacked with microphones, forced to lock themselves in a library in their dorms because they fear for their own safety. And it's, it's just hard for me to believe that that's happening uh, today. In my own district, uh, Millersville University students were targeted when a man drew uh, two swastikas on, on campus. Um, and one of the things I want to focus on today, though, and just get your thoughts, uh, and maybe one of the themes of this hearing is uh, the money that's flowing into universities. Uh, and then where universities are spending their money and whether this has some impact on the positions that they're taking. And I'd like some of you uh, to speak to that. We know that foreign countries are investing heavily in our universities and uh, they could potentially be abusing our U.S. tax system while they're doing that. Uh, and in some cases, this is certainly countries that that um, uh, do not share our uh, democratic uh, values. And so, uh, Mr. Shanzer, um, just want to ask about college endowments, uh, reporting requir uh, requirements uh, for uh, foreign investments. Um, what steps should we be concerned? And if so, what steps uh, should Congress take uh, to ensure that these colleges and universities are um, fully disclosing where funds are coming from and then are not investing tuition and donor dollars into countries which actively oppose the U.S. Thank you, Congressman. Um, I'm going to direct my comments here specifically to the country of Qatar. And there's a reason for that, because the Qataris are a state sponsor of Hamas. They are right now being looked at as an, inter in, an intermediary that may be able to help return those 240 hostages that are being held in Gaza right now. But we know that the country of Qatar has been giving hundreds of millions of dollars to Hamas over the years, and they have an office. And in that office, we've actually seen the video of some of those Hamas operatives cheering as they saw the news break on 10-7, and the Qataris have not kicked them out. Now, I'm gonna cite a couple of numbers here, and they're staggering. Qatari expenditures on American universities between 2002 and 2023 exceeds $4.7 billion. This is a country, I should just remind you, of 300,000 people, okay? They have been spending an average of $250 million per year. It's been actually $3 billion between 2013 and 2019. There was a moment actually in Texas, where Texas A&M, which has been receiving funds from the Qataris, they did not want to disclose. There was a lawsuit that ultimately had to be filed, and eventually that money uh, was I, I only have a, I'd love to hear more, but I only have another minute. And by the way, Cornell is one that has received uh, up to one and a half billion. Almost two fund, billion. In funding from Arab countries, uh, Correct. specifically Qatar and uh, Saudi Arabia and others. Correct. Uh, do you think these colleges are endangering uh, student safety and academic integrity by accepting these funds? And do we know what these countries are receiving in return? We don't know what the countries are receiving in return. And that's a huge problem. And we need to see the contracts. We need to see what the universities agreed to in order to receive those funds. And it's not happening. The Department of Education is actually woefully behind in tracking these disclosures. That is something that I would hope that this committee would look into. Thank you.